Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be learning about the radial nerve. To begin with, this is a posterior view of the right upper limb. The radial nerve that you see right here is a nerve in the human body that supplies the posterior portion of the upper limb. It is the largest branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. For those of you who haven't seen my video on brachial plexus, please refer to my channel playlist. The root value of radial nerve is C5 to C8 and T1. Now before we learn about the course of the radial nerve, let me explain you certain terms that I will be using further to explain the course of the radial nerve. This is the anterior view of the right upper limb showing the arterial system. This right here is the axillary artery while this is called the brachial artery. This is a diagram of the intermuscular spaces. This is the lower triangular space that lies diagonally opposite to the upper triangular space. It is bounded above by the teres major muscle, medially by the triceps muscle and laterally by the humerus bone. Now let's learn about the course of the radial nerve from the anterior aspect of the upper limb. In the axilla, the radial nerve lies posterior to the axillary artery. It enters the upper part of the arm and lies behind the brachial artery. We have seen the axillary artery and brachial artery earlier. From the upper part of the arm, it enters the lower triangular space as we had seen earlier. From there, it enters the posterior compartment of the arm right here and it passes through the oblique groove on the posterior aspect of the humerus bone as you can see right here it is a bit shaded along with the profunda brachii vessels. It reaches the lower end of the oblique groove as you can see right here and from there it pierces the lateral intermuscular septum and enters the anterior compartment of the arm on its lateral aspect right here. It reaches the cubital fossa and lies lateral to the biceps tendon. It enters the forearm and terminates by dividing into deep and superficial branches as you can see right here. This is the superficial branch and this is the deep branch. The deep branch supplies the muscles whereas the superficial branch is cutaneous and supplies the lateral side of the forearm. Now let's concise the important points under the introduction and the course of the radial nerve. The radial nerve is a nerve in the human body that supplies the posterior portion of the upper limb. It is the largest branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. Its root value is C5 to C8 and T1. Now looking at the course. In the axilla, radial nerve lies posterior to the axillary artery. It enters the upper part of the arm and lies behind the brachial artery. From the upper part of the arm, it enters the lower triangular space. From there, it enters the posterior compartment of the arm. Here, it passes through the oblique groove along with the profunda brachii vessels. It reaches the lower end of the oblique groove. Here, it pierces the lateral intermuscular septum and enters the anterior compartment of the arm on its lateral aspect. It reaches the cubital fossa. Here it lies lateral to the biceps tendon. It enters the forearm and terminates by dividing into superficial and deep branches. The deep branch supplies the muscles whereas the superficial branch is cutaneous and supplies the lateral side of the forearm. Now moving on to the relations of the radial nerve in the axilla. It lies posterior to the axillary artery. In the upper part of the arm, it lies posterior to the brachial artery. In the lower triangular space, it is accompanied by the profunda brachii vessels. As the radial nerve passes through the lower triangular space, it is related medially to the long head of the triceps, laterally it is related to the shaft of the humerus and superiorly it is related to the teres major. From the posterior view of the arm, this is the long head of the triceps brachii and this is the radial nerve. In the spiral groove right here, the radial nerve is related above with the lateral head of the triceps muscle which is not seen here 
and below with the medial head of the triceps muscle. In the posterior view of the arm, we can see the relations of the radial nerve more clearly. In the spiral groove, the radial nerve is related above with the lateral head of the triceps as you can see right here and below with the medial head of the triceps right here. At the cubital fossa, it lies lateral to the biceps tendon. This is a radial nerve and it lies lateral to the biceps tendon. This is the lateral superficial view of the right upper limb and this is the tendon of the biceps brachii muscle right here. Now concising the relations of the radial nerve, in the axilla it lies posterior to the axillary artery. In the upper part of the arm, it lies posterior to the brachial artery. In the lower triangular space, it is accompanied by the profunda brachii vessels. Medially, it is related to the long head of the triceps. Laterally, it is related to the shaft of the humerus. Superiorly, it is related to the teres major muscle. In the spiral groove, the radial nerve is related above with the lateral head of the triceps. It is related below with the medial head of the triceps. And finally, at the cubital fossa, it lies lateral to the biceps tendon. Now moving on to the branches of the radial nerve, in the axilla, it gives muscular branches and cutaneous branches. Now the muscular branches are to the lateral and the medial head of the triceps, right here. The cutaneous branch is that of the posterior antibrachial cutaneous nerve that you see right here, the posterior cutaneous nerve of the arm. In the spiral groove, the radial nerve again gives muscular branches and cutaneous branches. The muscular branches are to the lateral and medial head of the triceps and a branch runs down to supply the anconius muscle. The cutaneous branches include the lower lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm and posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm. At the cubital fossa, the radial nerve gives proprioceptive supply to brachialis muscle which is not seen in this diagram and motor fibers to the brachioradialis muscle as well as the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle right here. This is the lateral superficial view of the right upper limb and this muscle you see here is the brachialis. In the forearm, all the muscles of the posterior compartment that you see right here are supplied by the deep branch of the radial nerve that is the posterior interosseous nerve right here. Now concising the important points under the branches of the radial nerve, in the axilla the muscular branches are to the lateral and medial head of the triceps, the cutaneous branches are to the posterior cutaneous nerve of the arm, in the spiral groove the muscular branches are to the lateral and medial head of the triceps and a branch runs down to supply the anconius. The cutaneous branch are to the lower lateral cutaneous nerve of the arm and posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm. At the cubital fossa, proprioceptive supply is given to the brachialis muscle. The brachioradialis and the extensor carpi radialis longus muscle are supplied with motor fibers of the radial nerve. In the forearm, all the muscles of the posterior compartment of the forearm are supplied by the deep branch of the radial nerve that is the posterior interosseous nerve. Finally, looking at the clinical anatomy of the radial nerve, in the radial groove, the compression of the radial nerve while lying in an armchair results in Saturday night palsy. Second is that the fracture of the humerus bone right here results in the damage of the radial nerve and paralysis of all the extensors which results in a wrist drop. Extension movement is not possible. Concising the important points under the clinical anatomy, in the radial groove the compression of the radial nerve while lying in an armchair results in Saturday night palsy. The fracture of the shaft of the humerus results in damage of the radial nerve and paralysis of all the extensors which results in wrist drop and extension movement is not possible. I hope you found this video helpful. To get the notes of radial nerve, visit my Instagram page the link to which is given in the description below. To get updates on my latest videos, click on the subscribe button. To get notifications, tap on the bell icon. Thank you for watching.